What's going on everybody, King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Elite Collection Series 74, Lindsay Dorado. And so here we have Lindsay Dorado posed and out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually take a look at what he comes with. Lindsay Dorado does come with several pairs of hands. We do get a pair of grasping hands. We get a pair of open hands. And then we get a pair of pointing hands for Lucha House Party. We, of course, do get his Lucha House Party shirt, which does fit on him nicely. And then finally, we do get a piñata, which has a lot of nice little detail, and its head is articulated and removable, so if you want to do that, you can. Other than that, Lince Dorado doesn't come with anything else. I don't know what more you would want him to come with. Maybe a pair of fists! But that's just me. With that out of the way, guys, let's actually move on to his details. And so here we have a closer look at Lince Dorado, and I had to say they did a really good job sculpting his face. Now, paint on the other hand, not so much. It could have been a much nicer paint application on his face, especially right here on his chin. Now, one reason that we're not seeing the photo reel on masked wrestlers is apparently you can't photo reel onto recesses. Now, there is one figure that we will be having a look at in the near future, which does blow that... Uh, out of the water but for the meantime we'll look at this I really do like the gold that they used for the plastic it's a really nice marbly gold and it is different from the gold paint that they used uh, again you can tell his facial hair isn't properly painted and then it kind of looks like he has the world's worst sideburns because it does look like it comes all the way down to his chin going all the way around it honestly looks like he has a full beard starting from his hair up here and he just let it go all the way around and it I wish a little contrast was there. Does the black attire have white here? Let me know. I don't have the black costume. I just have the gold uh, variant figure. But anyway, on the back, it does say Lucha House Party. I don't know how well you can see that, but yeah, we do have Lucha House Party right there on the back. Speaking of the back, let's take a look at his tattoos. It does look like he has two bulls on either shoulder. And then he has a nice tattoo right here in the middle. And I really do like the artwork right here. I know a lot of people won't like calling it artwork, but it's a tattoo and tattoos are art. That's the big thing about tattoos. Really, really do like the work that went into them. I really do wish that Mattel would sculpt these gauntlets because as it stands the paint is okay but I kind of want to see actual sculpted gauntlets again we do have his tattoo right here looks good and then I believe that's a Puerto Rican flag wrapped around the Grim Reaper don't know what that means but it looks cool I'm, I will give it that really do like his tights although again we should have sculpted parts for this by now where we have the drawstring with the string hanging below it and a belt which is just painted not sculpted I do like that unlike the mask the gold is outlined in black so it does separate the gold plastic from the gold paint and it does bring out details a little bit better than just having it gold on gold so I really do like that and for the most part it is clean I love how clean this paint is like there's so many spots that it could have gone wrong but it didn't although we do have a little bit of error right here it's not a big thing just because it's in the back on the inner part of his calf and then strangely enough it does come up uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be his boot or what but we do have that black piece going up and we have smaller ring boots just done in black would have been nice to see some gold accents but that's not Mattel's fault it's actually Lindsay Dorado for not wearing gold boots and you can see mine does have a little bit of a smudge right there I'm gonna try to get that off in the future but other than that there's really not much to say about Lindsay Dorado's details and he does look good so what we're gonna do now is compare him to other figures you may have in your collection and so here we have Lindsay Dorado posed next to an ultimate collection of Brock Lesnar and a basic Jeff Hardy and finally, here we have Lince Dorado posed next to fellow Lucha House Party members Kalisto and Grand Metallic. 
So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually run through his articulation really fast. Lindsay Dorado does have the standard elite articulation. He does have a ball joint in the head, although he really doesn't get much up and down movement for some reason. I think the joint might be a little bit stuck. He does turn left and right, no problem. And we get pretty decent head tilt on him, so I do like that. Arms do go out to the side, no problem. Do a full 360. Oh, that, that felt bad. Um, I don't know, this feels like some tension, not, not anymore, um, that does worry me, there was some tension in that arm going all the way around, and normally when there's tension going around, it's the joint shredding on the inside, so do be careful with that, and it's only with this torso that I realize that it happens, but anyway, arms do go out to the side, no problem, do a full 360 as you saw, we do have a bicep swivel, which works fine. Single bend at the elbow works no problem. We do have a hinge at the wrist and that does swivel and all the hands have the same swivel peg system. He does have an ab crunch which goes back only to about that far, goes forward to about that far. We have rotation at the waist. Legs do kick forward to about there which is acceptable. Kick back, out to the side no problem. Swivel at the thigh. Double bend at the knee, no problem because he doesn't have anything hindering his knee, so I do like that. We do have a boot cut swivel. We have a hinge in the ankle, which goes back about that far. Then it goes forward about that far. And then we do have rocker ankle on him, so really do like the articulation on Lindsay Dorado. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually get him posed for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have Lince Dorado pose for my final thoughts and overall I really do like the way the figure came out. Now it did just so happen that I started reviewing this guy when he started reappearing on Smackdown. I didn't plan for that. It's just how my reviewing schedule has gone but I really do like the way the figure came out. Now is there some things I would improve on it? Yes. Let's give every wrestling figure fist. I don't know why Mattel doesn't give everyone fist. That's Probably the number one thing every wrestling figure needs is grip hands and fists. A lot of wrestlers throw punches, a lot of wrestlers like to grab things. We need fists for every wrestler, but that's just a personal gripe. Hopefully Mattel fixes that moving forward, but moving back on to the figure because I do feel I got off topic. Really do like the way he came out. Now if you are looking for Lince Dorado, the black version is a little bit easier to come by just because this is the running chase variant. I did get my Chase variant offering side collectibles, and yeah, the package was a little bit damaged, but the plastic or the package is nothing more than the trash separating me from the plastic figure, so I really didn't mind opening this guy up. Even if I had found him in stores, I'd still open him up. Either way, I like the way he came out, and he looks really good. Partnered with his Lucha House Party brethren, if you can find Lince Dorado for a decent price, I really do recommend you pick him up. Especially if you're a fan of Lucha House Party, you're going to need all three members, which is Grand Metallic, Lince Dorado, and Kalisto. And I really do like the way he came out. The piñata is a really cute little accessory, and the head does come off, so you can make it look like he bashed someone over the head with it. But with that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Go check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other WWE videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments. And if it's in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.